Man, so what's going down? It's your boy Coach Ty back at you with the folks group. We sitting here with Joshua King Bradley, Barbers Hill High School, number 48. Yeah, we done followed him all year long. So we just wanted to get a, uh, a end of the season interview with him. I didn't get the opportunity to go to uh, Friday's game against Manville. Um, they wind up losing against Manville 55 to 35. But from what I heard, I heard they had a double team and triple team the man all day. So, as I stated in a previous video, if so much attention is coming to him, then that means uh, the team, the team that they're playing against, has done their due diligence as far as scouting who the best player is. And if you get double team and triple team, it, it, you you know who the best player is. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Josh. So. Uh, how you feel about your perform against, performance against Mount? I feel that in terms of the run game, I was able to hold them pretty well. They didn't, they had, when they came to the scoring, they had a couple of bursts here and there, but for the most part, we, we held them up. I was able to make a great pressure when it came to the run gaps, closing them off fast. And uh, I think what I could have done better was pass for us, and which I got there a couple times. But there was there was some times where you have about four or five seconds, and uh, about well, not four or five seconds, about three or four seconds, and that's that's way too much when it comes to our D line, at least when it comes to the expectations. So yeah, well, I mean, you know, with 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 football, man, in in any situation, uh, especially when you know. You got a good defensive line. That's what the coach is telling the quarterback. You got to get the ball out of two to three seconds. So they, they'll go from a five-step to a three-step trying to get the ball out, especially on passing downs. So they're not going to give you an opportunity to get that, man. So that's well, just slant. They ran out of slants. Yeah, yeah, that's three-step. So they're not giving you the opportunity to be able to read and react the way that you would need to because they know they're in a passing situation and they know who they're dealing with and they need to get the ball out of their hands. Yeah, so you get used to that. Yeah, get used yeah. to that. All right. So this this one here is going to be a three part question. So uh, how do you feel about your season? Uh, what do you feel you really improved upon? And what do you feel that you need to work on in order to improve upon it for next season? So we're going. Uh, the first question is how do you feel about your season? I feel like uh, I definitely improved from last season. Um, in terms of just having an impact on the field, I feel like I've gotten better with that, and I plan to make it uh, even more my senior year. Um, get off was probably one of my biggest improvements. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Make sure we're we're getting explosive. Getting off that line. Right. That's one awesome. of the biggest. Biggest. Uh, if you're going to play D-line, that's one of the biggest things yeah. you want to have is a get-off because that will make the job a lot easier. Uh, that was one of the biggest things for me. What I need to work on, Yeah, it, it would be my, it would be my, like probably my hands, Yeah, my, my hand placement and my speed on the field. I sometimes feel like I move a little bit slower than what I really am, not what, how I could move. Yeah, And I think once I get to that, that speed up there, it'll put me at the right level that I think I deserve to play at. Yeah, so just just so you know, I, I'm giving the, the secret away. Hand pads, arm pads, that's that's ex exactly moving through the ladder uh, with hand drills. That's exactly what we're going to work on during the off season. Um, just watching you throughout the season, your explosiveness and your get off is your strength. The one weakness that I think you have is your hand placement. Your hand placement just being active with your hands so that they can't get their hand placement where they want it. So, so that's exactly what we're gonna work, work on in, uh, in the off season. So what advice do you have for any younger kids who may be looking up to you as a role model or an example to follow? For any kids that, uh, if you look at me as a role model, I'd say the best thing you can do is stay humble throughout your entire career. Um, makes all the media talk and all the good stuff kind of puts you to the side as you focus on 
much importance to game of football. And I say, if you do that, it's, it's going to make it, whatever your journey may be a lot easier for you. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. So, last question: How do you feel about uh, your team's performance for the season? I feel our performance was uh, was good. We we did some things that the school hasn't seen in a couple of years, and that's going to be something good to build off of. And I'm going to make sure that we do that the next next year. Absolutely. So, like I was telling Josh, man, this is this is his second year on varsity. His first year on varsity made first team all district. We're looking for more accolades um, this season. Uh, so it's just progress to, to be made. So uh, you guys stick with us. Um, off season will start beginning of February. So we'll be, for, we'll, we'll be working February through June, July. Um, so just, you know, stay, stay with us. Stay focused. Focus group.